Hi, today we're going to go over how to update or download the One Control app. So the first step will be going to your app store and then you will search One Control. So at that point you will open or download the app. And then at the bottom of the license agreement you will need to select Agree. And then it'll ask you for notifications, so either allow or don't allow. The next step will be to create an account. So at this point, you will need to enter a valid email address. And then your phone number. And the next step will be to create a password. Your password will need to include, include one capital letter, a number, and a special character. You will not be able to use the and symbol, pound sign, or the at symbol. Now you will select create an account at the bottom. And then it'll you will receive an email that'll ask you to verify your email address. So you must go into your email and verify it. If you do not see it in your inbox, please check your junk email. The next step will be to connect to the RV. So let's go hit the let's go bottom button at the bottom. The next step will ask you for location permission. So you'll need to accept the permissions. You will have to select only while using the app always allow or don't allow. If you do not select one of the allows it will not allow you to use the app. At this point it'll start searching for your RV. If it, it does not pop up you will need to manually connect. So hit the manually connect button and then you'll need to enter your ID number and password. When entering your ID number, you must include the MyRV underscore and all the numbers and letters of the ID number. Anything capitalized needs to be capitalized. Your password is completely case sensitive, so all the letters will need to be capitalized. Once connected, you will need to continue your setup process. The next will be to enter your RV details. You will need to select your model year, then your make, RV model, and floor plan. If you do not see your floor plan listed, you will need to select other at the bottom of the list. Once RV details are entered, you will need to continue to the next step, which would be setting up a pin. So you'll enter your own individual pin. And then the setup is complete. Thank you so much for uh watching the video. Hopefully it's a helpful tool for you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us via phone, website, or email. Um, thank you very much.